Good afternoon everybody, welcome to the Key Stage 2 Music Festival. Things are a little bit different this year because normally when we run this festival we're in the huge Metrodome Arena in Bahansi with a really big audience. But because of what's going on in the world and the country at the moment, we wanted to make sure that we could create a really positive experience for young people to still be able to perform. If you've not been to the festival before or you don't know what Barnsley Music Service do, we teach first access whole class music in a lot of schools in the borough. And there were 1,500 young people from 51 schools that were due to take part in the festival. What happens in these first access projects is that classes of young people learn to play an instrument all together in their class. And they start doing that in September and they have a whole academic year and they can come together and perform at the end of that academic year and show off what they've done. Now we know because of what's going on that that hasn't quite worked out this time. And I really hope that lots of young people across the borough are going to join in with this festival. What's going to happen today is we're going to sing a fantastic song together and we're going to play a fantastic piece of music together. Now, young people who were involved in this might not be in school at the moment because they're from those year groups that haven't gone back yet. So if you're a young person watching this, you might be at home and I hope you've had the chance to learn the song and to learn to play, learn to play the piece on your instrument. If you haven't, this video is still going to be available after the event, so you've got the chance to do that afterwards. Once you've done that, it would be wonderful if your parents and carers could video you singing the song and playing the piece of music, and if they could send that in to me or put it on the Barnsley Music Education Hub Facebook page as a message, and I'd like to put a video together of young people in Barnsley singing and playing together. Now, to do that, if you have a pair of headphones, that would be absolutely brilliant. You're going to need to video yourself with your headphones in so that we can't hear the backing tracks. The first thing that we're going to do as part of the festival, we're going to sing a song called Power In Me by Rebecca Lawrence. It's a wonderful song about overcoming things and keeping going when times are tough. We've got the Magnificent Seven, as we're calling them, to help you. We've got five tutors from Barnsley Music Service. We've also got Miss Sharon Stacey, who's a wonderful singer and vocal coach from the Barnsley area, and from King's Oak Primary Learning Centre, Mrs Andrea Mulcahy. Let's welcome them now. Let's introduce them. We've got Mrs Maitland. Good afternoon, Mrs Maitland. We've got Mrs Mella to support you with your singing from the Barnsley Music Service as well. We've got Mrs Cordwell who's going to support you with your singing. Mr Mather, there he is. Mrs Laycock's ready. Miss Stacy, Miss Sharon Stacy, former member of Barnsley Music Service staff, and from King's Oak Primary Learning Centre. We're really lucky that we've got Mrs. Andrea Mulcahy, a really, really talented singer. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? We're going to sing Power in Me. <laughs> Oh 
Seven fantastic as well, really supporting everybody singing along at home or in school. Wonderful stuff. Okay, hopefully that's got you in the mood for the festival. Now, as I said at the beginning, if you're listening to this at home and you don't know anything about what's going on in schools in Barnsley, we teach whole class music, first access, in lots of schools in the borough. Barnsley Music Service tutors go in and deliver weekly sessions on lots of different instruments to hold classes and it all comes together as it's doing today at the end with the festival. Some schools teach their own music and that's absolutely great. We've got some schools who are delivering that themselves who are taking part today. Now I have given instructions to schools and young people at home about where to find the music for this piece in the Hall of the Mountain King it's called and it's by a Norwegian composer called Edvard Grieg. Now if you've never heard this piece of music before you will recognise it as soon as it starts. It's been used on lots of different adverts over time so if, if the name isn't familiar to you you will recognise it when it starts. What's going to happen at the beginning just to make sure the performers at home know what's going to happen at the beginning We've got a fantastic backing track from the BBC to play along with. The arrangement, this, the parts that we're playing are by a man called Andy Smith, who's done the arrangement on behalf of the BBC for the 10 Pieces series. So we're really grateful to be able to use that. So on the really wonderful backing track, you hear a very long sound from the orchestra. That's a pause. So the long sound happens on the backing track. And then you'll see me in the centre of your screen. I'll go one, two, three, four, and that's where you start, okay? If you play an instrument like a guitar or a ukulele, you play at the very beginning, so it's quite a tough start for you. But if you play one of the other instruments, you've got some counting to do then, okay? Now, just before we perform, I'm going to introduce some tutors from Barnsley Music Service. They are going to be on screen while we're performing, playing your parts, so you need to know who to look at. So look carefully at this next bit while I introduce them and then you know who you're going to look at on screen. So introducing our amazing tutors from Barnsley Music Service, Mrs Cordwell's there. Good afternoon Mrs Cordwell, she's going to help you with the flute part, okay? So if you play flute look out for her. Mrs Yates is going to help you with the recorder part. Good afternoon Mrs Yates. Mrs Laycock is going to help you with the clarinet part. Good afternoon Mrs Laycock. Mrs Robertson's got the violin there, so look out for her if you're playing the violin part. We've also got Mrs Meller there, she's going to help you with the violin part as well. Afternoon Mrs Meller. Mr Moore's got the cello there, so if you're a cellist look out for him. Mr Dodd on the euphonium for the brass players there, look out for Mr Dodd. More brass players. Mr. Lennon's going to help you with the trumpet part, so look out for him if you're playing that part. Mr. Francis is going to help you with the trumpet part. He's playing on his corner, it's the same part. Mr. Holmes there is going to play the trumpet part as well, he's going to support you. Mr. Townsend, there. afternoon, Mr. Townsend, playing one of the percussion parts. Afternoon, Mr. Townsend. Also, Mr. Ramskill there, he's going to be playing that part. Look out for him if you're playing that. Mr Fuller there with his ukulele, look out for him if you're playing the ukulele. Also on ukulele, Mr Waller, afternoon Mr Waller. 
Mr. Childs has got his guitar there, look out for him if you're playing that part. Also on guitar there, Mr. Kelly, he'll be supporting you as well. Mrs. Maitland is going to be supporting you doing the body percussion part. So if you don't have an instrument and you've practiced a bit where you can clap along, that's the part that you're going to be looking for. Okay? Are we ready now with our instruments or with our body if we're doing the clapping part? Here we go. Fantastic. Now, it's a strange experience for, for me and for our tutors as performers there, 
to not be able to see each other and, and hear each other in the same building, but still to manage to perform together like that. And it's the same for you at home. I'm really looking forward to listening to performances that you send in. I hope some of you have recorded yourselves. If you didn't do it right now, this video is going to be available on the Music Hub website and the YouTube channel for the next few weeks. So even if you didn't have a chance to learn a part or a chance to record, there's still the chance to do that. And you can email that through to me. You can get your parents and carers to email, email that through to me. Or you can get your parents and carers to upload it on the Music Hub Facebook site. And I'd love, love to put a video together of lots of young people from Barnsley performing that and, and share that as well. Okay? I really do hope you've learned, you've enjoyed learning to play a musical instrument in the way that you have since September. I know things have been a little bit different and we haven't had the full year for you there because of, of what's been going on in the world. I'd like to talk about something called musical bridges now, the opportunity to keep playing your instrument as part of a small group. That's something that you will find out more when you're back in school, hopefully in September. So when you're back in school in September, your music service tutor will have some information on that. Do have a think about that, because playing a musical instrument is a wonderful, wonderful lifelong skill. And the skills that you've learned so far in the short amount of time you've been playing, you can only get better and better and enjoy it more and more. So do please have a really good think about that. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for schools for supporting that, for helping you to be able to join in, for giving you the information as part of your home learning packs, for supporting you in school with that. Thank you so much for the Barnsley Music Service tutors who've made the little videos to help you to learn the part for In the Hall of the Mountain King. Thank you so much for the Magnificent Seven for doing the, the singing for Power in Me to help you to support you with that. Thank you for your par to your parents and carers for what they've done at home as well to help and encourage you with playing your instrument. And thank you as well from Barnsley Music Service to the Arts Council of England for continued funding to help us to be able to deliver this type of tuition in schools. Do keep going with your music making and your singing and I do hope it won't be too long before you can make music together with other people in real time. Do take care.